Hello everyone. So one of my uh, subscribers asked me to help them learn how to strum better. So I don't know what anybody out there knows, but the first thing you need to know about how to strum is what different strum symbols and note symbols look like. And then you need to know how to count. At least this is my opinion. I think it's the best way to learn. And um, I think it's the quickest way to get good at having good timing. So the first thing you see on this page, and this is hard to do upside down and backwards, so I'm going to stand over here, is, okay, right here you have this. This is called the treble clef. This is called the time signature. It's four over four, which means there's four beats in a measure. You see them one, two, three, four. And it means that the quarter note gets one beat. So this is a quarter note slash for a strum symbol on the guitar. So this is beat one, two, three, and four. And what I'm going to show you using this page is how to do two measure sections. So this is measure one, this is measure two, and we're going to do just these two measures over and over again, and we're going to learn how to strum them and to count them. The rule is sort of simple. On your quarter notes, you have to strum down, 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 and you count one, two, three, four. The next beat you have is a quarter note, and you count one. Then you have these two notes that are connected by a beam. They're called eighth notes. They're twice as fast, and you count one, two, and three, four. So you notice I went two is down, n is up, and that's exactly how we're going to strum it. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. I'm doing this with my thumb. I recommend that you do it with a pick. I recommend you try it all different ways with your fingers, but it's not really about how to do it. It's how to understand this and just start working on it. The chord I'm holding down is an open E chord, E major. If you don't know it, use anything. Use a G, use a G, whatever you know, any chord. It's not about switching chords. It's not about playing a song. It's just about learning how to count and play this and good and get good at doing these beats two measures at a time. So the first one sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Back, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, so going up is weird. Going up with your thumbs weird. It just all feels funny. So going up, this is what I recommend. With your thumb, you don't have to hit all the strings you're allowed to play. Just get some of them. Because the idea is that you have this. That you have that beat going. So, two and three, four. You don't have to hit all of them. It could just be the low ones. It could just be like. It could be all of them. It's just a bigger stroke. Anyway, that's the first two measures. The second two measures. I believe what I did was I kept the same quarter notes. I tried to do that at the beginning of each two measures. One, two, three, four. And then I moved the eighth note to beat number three. So this goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Down, up, down. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. That's just the two measures, the four measures on the top line played as two different parts. The first two followed by the second two. We're going to move to the next two measures, which is on the second line. And what I believe it did was I moved the eighth note again over to beat four. So now you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and down, 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 up. So let me just make this point. To go down, 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 
you have to come back up in the middle. That's literally what your eighth note is when you come back up. So this is down, two, three, down, down, two, down, down, up. So these two measures sound and look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I'm doing something that Okay. I found this on the web for 41,234 and down, 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 down. Check it out. Bye, Siri. At any rate, I'm doing something that's very important here. Go away, Siri. Come on, Siri. Thank you. Um, I'm counting out loud, and you can almost hear me do it as I'm doing it. It's forcing me to breathe, and my breath and my heart rate are helping me to stay in time with this. If I just do and don't breathe, start holding your breath. End up playing faster because you're kind of drowning. Anyway, counting out loud is one of the most important things you can do to help yourself establish great timing. The other thing that is a fantastic thing to do when you're trying to practice just playing rhythm is to use what's called a metronome. They're all over the place. Basically, it's just a click. One of the easiest ones to find is you just go online and you say, online metronome, and you come up, pick the first one. The one I have defaults to 100 beats per minute, and it literally just gives me a click. So I'm going to let you hear that click. I'm going to count one, two, three, four. <coughs> <coughs> then I'm going to play those first <coughs> six measures along with that click and I'll do them actually I'll just stick to the first line to keep it simpler I'll do the first line and go back to the first line just the first four measures over and over so I'm pressing the button 100 beats per minute online metronome two three four one two three four one two three four one two oh I messed up one two three four one two and three four one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. It's a little fast, too. Four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. I messed that one up, too. I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to drop it down to um, 80 beats per minute because that's too fast. I, I don't want to rush through this, and you should not really not try to do it, um, to do this fast. You're trying to learn how to play, do the right stroke, the down, the down, up, and count out loud, and keep it in time. So let's see if this is better. Here we go. Just the first line. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So if you've watched this far, that's plain information. Thank you for watching. I only did the first line and then the next two measures if you would like me to do uh further through this lesson if you'd like to have this sheet to practice on your own please leave a note in the comments like the video and um i'll do the best i can to finish this it's it's a great way to learn it's a great way to start you learn how to read it you learn how to count it and you learn how to strum it the right direction and count it out loud have a great day play a lot of guitar Thank you.